Okay, so we're doing MSLS24, is that what you're doing? Yep, MS2S. Okay, yep. so um, let's take a look at the assessment. So this yep. is the phenomena at the top is stink bug. The brown stink bug is a voracious eater that damages fruit. You can read. Make a claim to support the idea that invasive species such as the stink bug cause dynamic change in ecosystems. We've got a food web, and this looks like a link, link to this. Yes, yeah, just a link to, I think, okay. where it's coming from. Think tag. Uh, identify and describe changes in the population of organisms if the stink, uh, if the stink bug, bug is, is introduced, introduced. Then we've got nymphs data. adults on what? Trapping data, and it's just date. It's by time, an okay. average number in the trap. Of what? Stink the bugs? The stink bugs. Okay. Construct a research question to support the correlation between physical variables in the ecosystem and the stink bug population. Then we would put in an engaging and argumentation graphic organizer. So we can just do that. So that's we can. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, that's it. So that's it. Is that okay. It? Okay. All right. So if we start in the beginning, so on the on the. Can I can I go back yeah, here? Go can ahead. I start yeah. with? The assessment contains a phenomenon. Does it have a phenomena? Would you say? Um, what is the phenomena? The phenomena or the stimulus they're saying is the stink bug. Is there's a video? Oh, it looks like there's a video here. So this is a YouTube video. The brown marmorated stink bug is a serious farm and garden pest that U.S. Department of Agriculture researchers are trying to monitor and manage. It attacks various uh, vegetable, fruit, and field crops. So apples, pears, and peaches, it's definitely on, uh, especially maturing, unfortunately. A lot of times that damage is hidden um, until you cut open the fruit, which is very unfortunate. It can affect soybean as well. Various vegetables, tomatoes, peppers. Weber and his Agricultural Research Service colleagues in Beltsville, Maryland, just outside of Washington, D.C., are trapping stink bugs to study their attractants or pheromones. We could use this as a management tool to monitor, to make sure we know where the pest is and how high the numbers are so we know what we might do about it, but also potentially to use it to trap it out of the crop or near houses where we don't want it to be. Fifteen years ago, the brown marmorated stink bug came here from Asia, so ARS researchers are looking there for natural predators. And they're mainly these tiny wasp egg parasitoids. They're harmless. They're, they don't sting. Their main objective in life is to find stink bug eggs and make sure that it doesn't end up a stink bug, it ends up a wasp. And just why are they called stink bugs? Weber explains. The stink of the stink bug is fairly similar to slime. That doesn't mean you necessarily would want to eat it. And I'm sure that's repulsive to the predators that it's trying to repel. According to the website stopbmsb.org, stink bugs have been found in 40 states and the District of Columbia. Last year, stink bugs did $52 million worth of damage to mid-Atlantic peach and apple crops. In Washington, D.C., for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Bob Ellison. I've made it way better. Except I'd still like, I'm not wondering anything. Right. Yeah, he explained a lot of it. Um, like, yeah. it's a good story, and it's interesting. Like, stink bugs yeah, yeah, are yeah, interesting. Yeah. They, their attention, they uh, capture attention. Yeah. But in my mind, like, I'm not wondering anything. I'm like, okay, that was a neat story. I mean, I guess it's, what I was just, yeah, I'm not impressed with the phenomena. I'm just saying, like, I have way more stimuli yes. than I did no, no, before. No, 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 so I understand, like, yeah, yep. yeah. So if so, we say, does the phenomena have, does it have a phenomena? So the phenomena is... What are we trying to figure out? Is that what you're getting right. at? Right, what am I trying to figure, to figure out? out? There's nothing... Uh, right, so interesting story like it's new it's novel to me I'm like uh -huh. i'm interested but i'm not figuring anything out like there's i don't want to go into the questions and do anything because right. i know everything yeah i think you could have said yeah let's just go through the list and say yeah. like, so I, does I'm it have a phenomenon i could say yeah i think they're framing it here as um does it cause a dynamic change to the ecosystem that's i think what they're 
They're wanting kids to study, like, is it impacting the ego? But you're saying, yeah, I don't, I, yeah. Right, no. I don't, it's, par I, I might put partially just to be nice, like, I yeah. think there's hope here for this. I yeah, wouldn't trash sure. it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, science. Does it match the science and engineering practice? So on okay, here. Okay, it's construct an argument supported by empirical uh, evidence. evidence. Gotcha. So are we constructing an argument? So we should be making a claim with evidence and reason. So they're making a, a claim, claim here. Yep. It's weird to make a claim before you look at the evidence, right? Well, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Like in my mm -hmm. mind, like for yeah. that phenomenon, like I'd yeah, almost yeah, like I to see uh, data about other organisms mm -hmm. decline or something declining right. and then show them that that stink bug came in. Now gotcha. I can start saying, oh, it's because of the stink bug. Okay. Like, All right. So I would say, are we doing engaging in argumentation? Not, I don't think so. Like, like what does it say? We have to construct an argument based on empirical evidence. So where, where are they doing that? Describe the changes in the population, but you're not making a claim based on what you're getting. What you're getting. Like, it would be there, cool I'm if not you getting, had that. right. Yeah, yeah, I'm not right. using empirical say, evidence yeah. to support my claim. Yeah, it's I'm making not a, I would say partially maybe for yep. one and two. I think it's yep. Number two, does the stimuli have multiple insufficient information? I've get, I'm getting this food web, which doesn't look like a food web that includes the, the stink, stink bug. bug. Or, it or could be. It could be in that yeah. agricultural area, right? Yeah, I like the graph, and I like the graph how it fit to the video. To you know what, what I they mean? were saying in the video, I would they be talked willing about. To, if you watch the whole video and you include that, I would say yeah. If we're just going over it really if, quickly, if I would just, say yeah. Yes, as written right now, ignoring the other problems, right. correct? Does it get it? Does it get yes. to the DCI, which is ecosystems are dynamic? dynamic. So how the e how um, so it's leading to shifts in populations, right? So disruption to any physical or biological component yeah. can lead to a shift. I don't before we get down in you know what I mean. Before we get down yeah, in I here, know, like sorry. go at the top. So are we getting changes in physical or biological? I would say yeah. You're getting a biological change in the ecosystem, right? You're getting a living. The stink bug is being added. The to The stink bug has entered the ecosystem if it's invasive. I think okay, it's so, okay, so, okay, so yeah. wait, so if, if that's the case, mm -hmm. right, and I need to argue that that affects, we have to assume we have to other, have other populations, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need that information yeah. there. So if I were to write down and give them feedback, I would say for this one, it would be par partially, partially, and we need um, evidence on other, mem other components of the ecosystem. Is that right? right? Yes. Other components. And then what did we say at the beginning? We like it as... A phenomenon. The stink like bug's it. an okay phenomenon, but we need. I, I don't think it's a phenomenon because yeah, yeah. I'm not wondering. What is wondering. the phenomenon? I, Never mind. You're right. right. Yeah, you said that. Yeah. And then cross cutting concept is, is stability, stability and change. change. Are we seeing change explicitly used? Like we should see change. Identify and describe change in the population of other organisms. So we are seeing explicit use of. Okay, in right? the food web. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So check for yes for number five. Right. Number six, does the prompt include language from the grade appropriate progression? So on here, they should be constructing oral and written, Support. oral and written argument, right. supported by empirical evidence. We have a written argument, but not oral, right? Mm -hmm. For starters, small changes in one part of the system cause large changes in another part. I don't, I, they're speculating on that, but, well, it is kind of, yeah. I, I think what's that piece mm -hmm. is missing is that data about what's happening to other organisms. Yeah, you're right. They're speculating, but they don't have that as evidence. So it, 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 you can't make the reasoning piece. Right. But it also, like, as we look at this, aren't we just looking for the language, the language. here? You know does what I mean? Prompt, I would say. Does the prompt include language. this idea of stability and change? Yeah. I don't think we're getting that actual language of how, how a small change in one, or maybe it is saying that. So what it is. Identify and describe how changes in the populations of other organisms, if the stink, if the stink bug, bug, I would just that use is. more. No, yeah, I, think yeah. that is. I, I like think the idea of just using the, the word small, small so a small change. How can one change? How can one? Actually, I don't know if they're using an arrow organism, there, but yeah, I think right. one organism would be good. How I think can I would say one organism effect, I would say yeah. partially, probably. Um, does it provide space for observable features in the evidence statement? So if we look at the bottom of the evidence statement, what are they? What are they asked to do? They have to make a claim to be supported about an explanation. So the students are making a claim, which I think it asks them to make a claim. Now they're asked to give evidence, um, use valid and reliable sources, 
evaluate, critique the evidence, and then do reasoning and synthesis. Right. That's way different than what they're, you know what, what I mean? Doing I think here, this is right. really, yeah, we have to lift the level of it. We should be look, like pouring over a journal article, you know, not a journal article, but like a, a, it could be just an article on the stink bugs or a newspaper article where you're like evaluating. A lot of this I see down here getting at, like looking at the evidence and critiquing the is, evidence. Is this itself, good, right? It? Is it good evidence? Yeah. For that, for saying that, I would say no for the most part. Yep. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, what about it contains information that's scientifically accurate and properly attributed? I don't think this. I think somebody just made, made up, this up the food, food web. web. I don't. Know but I do think that, like, this was real. This was, this was so really it's partially. Really it's it's yeah, partially, partially was very much shifted towards yes. Yep. Uh, <laughs> trending towards yes. <laughs> trending towards yes. <laughs> Does the prompt point in the direction of explaining a phenomenon? I, we no, already, that's I already the big decided thing. that yeah. that's the big thing. I wonder if that's it? one. Yeah, you almost want to look at that right away with phenomena. Like, yeah. Are we really making sense? And is it authentic, interesting, yes. requires some... Well, is it... Yeah, you think so. Kids would be interested in stink I think bugs. so, stink bugs. Yes. Yeah. And then we can't comment on number one. Because that's there. So the big changes I think we need is just more evidence on the ecosystem, and then also the evidence can't just be graphs. It has to be you judging... Does that seem right? It has. They're judging the reliability of the evidence, or is it... Like, what would you give for... What evidence would you have in the stimulus? So if, if I, if my phenomenon originally mm -hmm. is um, the fact that the ecosystem changed, whatever right. data I pick to uh -huh. show that, hey, th this is different, or people are opening up the fruit and the stink bugs were inside, right? right? Wasn't that the thing that mm -hmm. you open them up and they damage the fruit they're in there? So that, oh my gosh, right? right. The ecosystem is different. Um, what would I be looking for? I would look at... That. I think that graph is a good graph, the introduction. To, especially tied with the this, traps and a little picture of him the checking traps the traps. Checking the traps. Um, what if it is like, an, what if it was, you're looking at graphs and stuff in a magazine article, like a farmer's journal, where it's like saying, like, our crops are getting devastated by the, by the stink bug. Right, you know that's what I was going to say. Like, the, those people like, are saying, yeah. oh my God, all the problems in our ecosystem yeah. are due to the stink bug. Yeah. So what would I need? Like, What's, yeah, like an article that said, what, yeah. What's the stink of the stink? Yes. Like making a stink over that. Over the I stink. Think that bug. Yeah. And the farm yeah, the farmers are like And then you have to look the, the kid would have to look at it and say, like, well, here's a like this might be a food web that's not even linked to that. This guy is you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, Your yeah, crop yeah. is yeah. even one that we find the stink bug on. Yeah. I think like evidence right. like what do we find stink bugs in? Yeah. And I, on and then link it to a food web. Yeah, I think that's exactly it. It's yeah. that's the a stink bug one. is the root of all our troubles and when essence yeah. it's That's way more rigorous for middle school. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Is this the same standards as that deer population one? Or not? I think it is. Is that I MSLS 2.4? MSL, no, it's MSLS 2.1. How is that different? You're analyzing interpret evidence for resource. This right, one's on resources. resource availability, and this one is what? Uh, like biological changes or physical changes? What? Because the physical components is interesting. Wouldn't that be a lot like? Resource availability in the deer? So what are, do they give examples of physical components of an ecosystem? Actually, let me, I gotta be quiet, because this one, that one talked about how does changes in resource availability affect the whole population. population. And, and this, this is, is an the ecosystem. Whole system. So this is, it's yeah. not one thing, it's the yeah, whole system. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. the empirical evidence. Like they, that, that's what's my sticking point is yeah. I think we need more of that in here. Yeah. Um, showing other organisms yeah. or other items. Yep. I, like know, the ecos I like